A Greek right-wing extremist party has stunned Europe by collecting 7% of the votes in the Greek election on Sunday. The Daily Mail has footage of the Golden Dawn party's leader just after the election and how he left no doubt about how he wants to use his party's 21 seats in the parliament. What will be the first measure to change? All the immigra illegal immigration out, out of my country, out of my home. The party denies being neo-Nazi, but according to the Daily Mail, they have adopted the Nazi salute and wear stylized swastikas as their logo. And speaking to Euronews, the Golden Dawn leader reiterated his policy. Among other things, it wants to expel immigrants and mine the border with Turkey. The Greeks were anytime nationalists. For everyone who is traitor, I don't care. On Sunday, the Greek voters vented their anger on the harsh austerity measures dictated by the European Union and the Greek parties supporting them. Greece's two principal parties have governed the country for 40 years, but they saw their vote cut in half as conservative New Democracy became the country's biggest party, with 19 percent of the vote. But New Democracy has been unable to gather a majority in the Greek parliament, and the BBC says the situation is... A huge mess, Tim. Crisis, instability, uncertainty. Sound familiar? We've been talking about it incessantly for the past two years here, but the political crisis is back with a vengeance. This country has no government. Besides the ultra-right-wing party Golden Dawn, the party coalition of the radical left won 52 seats in the parliament, an amazing rise from the 13 seats they won in 2009. And observers fear the crisis in the Eurozone can lead to the rise of extremist parties, says MSNBC's Europe correspondent. There's a lot to worry about, and it's not only the, the sort of crypto-fascist party uh, on the right in, uh, in, in Greece. It's also the left-wing party, which has a very radical program and probably holds the swing votes in the parliament now. The Greek parliament has 300 members, but it looks unlikely anyone will be able to form a majority government. Some say it could even look like Greece's voters will have to go to the ballot boxes again. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, The Real Story.